song of praise and music yeah. right now. As, as the songs of that word, the words of that song went forth, stay in the way. Yes. Truly, when troubles come, saints, oh, yes. you know, we can't run from troubles. We can't, you know, get out of the way. We got to stay in the way. Yes. You know, staying in the way, that's where our help comes from. Oh, yes. So, saints, let us remember to stay in the way. Pray to the Lord. Ask the Lord to give us strength to be able to go through. We can't run from every problem. Sometimes we have to face problems and say, head on in Jesus Christ. Now, but make sure you don't go without the Lord. Because going without the Lord, you have no help. You know, he is our help. So let us pray that we'll stay in the way in Jesus Christ's name. Now the house is open those that may have a song or may have a testimony in Jesus Christ's name. Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah.
uh, congregation of people, we thank God for the truth that's being told because the scriptures say we're two or three. Amen. So we thank God always for the word, the thing that gives us the information about God and how God wants us to live here in this present evil world. We thank God for that because if it wasn't for the word of God, then everybody would be right. But the word of God is the thing which is right and which is able to save every human living if they would take heed to what it says. The word of God is here for our information so that we would know how to walk and to please our God. Amen. We thank God for giving us a mind to repent of our sins, put out in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and live like the Lord say that is holy. We got to strive to live that way, don't we? Yes. Amen. That's the way that we have to strive to live. God wants us to live holy in these last dark and evil days. So we're certainly glad for that and may God have a blessing and keep us according to his eternal will. Let's get the third chapter of Ephesians. We're going to start at about uh, the 15th verse. And we're going to go into the fourth uh, chapter of the Lord's will. Amen. We just want to always leave this with the people of God. And this is what we want to do as this year approach. Is that right? Amen. I heard Rick talking and saying some very good things and how we as a people should be. Is that right? Amen. We thank God and we just thank God and hope that the Lord will help everybody that need help because we all need help. Amen. <laughs> all right. Third chapter of Ephesians. Let's see what it says. Begin in verse 15. We begin in verse 14. Let's touch it. Let's start there. For this cause, uh -huh. I, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Amen. Of whom the whole heaven, family, family of the heaven and earth is named. Amen. Read the book. That he who would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Be strengthened. It takes the spirit of God on the inside of man to give him strength. To give him that spiritual strength. We, we need the spirit on. Yes. We need God's spirit. It, don't, it doesn't matter what man thinks. Man needs God's spirit. And without God's spirit, man won't be able to function like God wants him to. But it takes the spirit of God in man in order for man to operate the way that God wants him to operate. Amen. What he says? That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory uh -huh. to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Inner man, read. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Amen. That's where it's at. That God made Christ may dwell in our hearts by faith. This is a faith way. You, ain't that, you, you, know, you don't see things in the scripture as you would see me or you. We got to see it how? By faith. Amen. What is faith? Substance. Things hoped for. Evidence of the things what? Not seen. Is that all right? So it, it, this, this way of living like God say is by faith. It, you don't see it like you see natural things, you know. You see this, you see that. But this is a way that we got to walk and strive to be obedient to by faith. All right, read the book. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. Well, that's 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 one of the main things. That's what the Lord said when he was here to his disciples. He said, uh, this, he leave a great commandment with you. Is that right? Yes, and that great commandment is say that you love one another. Amen. That's essential. Amen. You know, it, and it's, it's more than I think that we realize what it is. Love is a great, great thing. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's greater than, see, 
We sometimes love because of our emotion, of our feeling, how we feel and how we think. But Christ, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it's not like that with him. He don't love like that because the scripture teaches when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, didn't he? Yes, sir. Amen. We was out there cussing, lying, stealing, doing all kind of things we were doing, whole hopping, whole bunging, everything, yes. didn't he? Yes. Christ did what? Came and died for us. That's why the scripture says, God so loved the world. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So God expects us to love one another. Yes. Not like we feel what he he, he, he said, he's doing good to me, I'm going to do good to him, I'm going to love him. No. Because you know, I'm going to tell you how deep this thing is. God said, love thy neighbor as yourself. Is that right? Amen. Amen. He talked about doing good to, to your enemy. Amen. Ain't that something? Amen. So when it comes down to love, everybody got a lot they can do. Is that right? It don't matter, I say it, it, don't matter, it doesn't make any difference who you are. I say everybody. Is that right? In every church has something you can do. When it comes down to love, love is more deeper and more stronger than we really think or we even know. Amen. See, because the scripture teaches us that, you know, we are taught of God mm. how to love one another. <laughs> is that right? And it's more than just, I feel good, you know, my brother, my sister, you did a favor for me, but you got to love your enemy. Amen. You got to love, you know, you got to do good to them that despite for the union. Amen. Ain't that amazing? Amen. What did the fifth chapter of Matthew say? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Fifth chapter of Matthew. Uh huh. And seeing the multitude, he went up to a mountain. Uh -huh. And when he was sent, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Saying what? He taught them, saying what? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. But theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Blessed are they that mourn. Uh huh. They shall be covered. Uh huh. Blessed are the meek. Yes. They shall inherit the earth. Amen. Look at how he talked to you. Read. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, but they shall be filled. Yes. Blessed are the mercy. Uh -huh. They shall obtain mercy. They're going to obtain some mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. Amen. For they shall see God. Yes. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Thank you, Jesus. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Blessed are ye. Blessed are ye. Uh Here come. Blessed are ye. When men shall revile you yes. and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Uh -huh. Rejoice. Do what? Rejoice. And do what? And be exceedingly glad. Why? For great is your reward in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. For so persecuted they the prophets which which were before you. So it is not that we ain't gonna go through certain things. They did it to the prophet. People listen, people talk about the prophet, they talk about that. People will always have something to say about you when you strive to live for God. Amen. Amen. When you strive to live for God, you always got something to say. It's always something. Because you're living a life that is pleasing to the Lord Jesus. What he said? Amen. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Uh -huh. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. Uh -huh. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. All right. Ye are the salt of the earth. Uh -huh. But if the salt have lost its savior, Wherewith shall it be salt? Wherewith it shall be salt? It is thenceforth good for nothing, uh -huh. but to be cast out and to be trodden under, under the foot of men. Yes. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. The city that is set on a hill cannot uh, be hid. Yes. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush, but on a candlestick that it may that it give light unto all that are in their house. Yes, sir. Let your light so shine before men. Why? That they may see your good works. Amen. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. So we gotta let the light shine. Amen. When you love, you let the light shine. Amen. When you do, when we do what the Lord says, strive to do what the Lord says, we are letting the light shine. Amen. Is that right? You got to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Here, outside, you got it's it's something that we have to continue to strive for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Something, and it's by faith. Thank you. Is that right? All right. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. 
I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Ain't that something? Yeah. In the 13th chapter of the first Corinthians. Amen. We, we got this word that is given to us from God. And we just got to strive to do it. I know we look at look at things, look at all kinds of things that's going on around us. We just say, Lord, help me. Help us. Amen. Because a lot of people don't have a desire to live like the Lord say live. But you got to have that desire and that want to do that. Amen. 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. We're going to touch a little love, then we're going to go back over it. Though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels, uh -huh. and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Well, now this, this, is, this is charity love. Love. Charity yeah. love. He said, though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels. Yeah. He let you know, though I can talk like an angel. Yeah. Yeah. Talk like a man. Though I, 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 can, I can do that. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Though I speak with the tongue of men and of men, he's saying he's speaking with the, the tongue of angels. But he said, but he said, if I did it and didn't have charity, I have become as sounding brass or I, a tickling cymbal. Look at that. Look, look at that. We're gonna look at these things carefully and closely. I become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Read the book. And though I have the gift of prophecy, I listen. I listen to these things. Some of you say, well, I got all this. I got this. See, a lot of times, people may have certain things that God mm -hmm. may have given them. Mm -hmm. But see, you got to have more than that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And the most crucial thing mm -hmm. that we can strive for Jesus. and have right. is the love of God in us. Yes. 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 Not, well, he didn't do me right, she didn't do me right. We got to do it right and please. If somebody don't do you right, you still got to do them right. That's right. That's right. Because here the Lord Jesus you, Lord. came, God sent his son. He yes. died for us when we was yet sinners. Yes. Yes. When we were doing everything we wanted to do. Right. He still died for us. Because the thing is, if he wouldn't have borne our sins, then we would still be in bad shape. Amen. Our sins would not be forgiven. Mm -hmm. So just like he forgave us of our sins, through his son, Jesus Christ, we got to learn to love and forgive one another. That's, right. That's just all to it. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Well, he said, and though I have the gift of prophecy, I got to I got, listen, I got the gift of prophecy now. Amen. And what else? And understand all mysteries. That's what I understand. Jesus. I got the gift of prophecy. I can understand all mysteries. And all knowledge. Hallelujah. I got all. Jesus. That sounds pretty good, though. Yes, sir. Some people, they, they, they would say, man, that man got it. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. He got to understand all mysteries. And got all Hallelujah. knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, and Jesus. though I have all faith, I got so much faith so that I can remove mountains. Well, look here now. Wait a minute. He doing something, Rick. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me I got so much faith that I can move mountains? Man. Don't you know everybody, if I, can, if I can get out there and move a mountain by faith, this church couldn't even hold people. Because mm -hmm. they want to come to see me. Because that's the man that moved mountains by faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we well, y'all know how people run the people. Oh, yeah. Gift of prophecy. Well, if I if had the gift of prophecy. And understand. And had understand all. This man, him, that man out there, he understand all of this. And all not. See, people are running that. Answer. Though I have all faith, I got all faith, so that I could remove I could remove mountain and have not charity. What is it? I am nothing. Now God said you ain't nothing. I am nothing. God said you do all that, you got all that faith, all that knowledge, and you don't have charity. I you, am nothing. You ain't got. You ain't nothing. That was God say now. That's right. Answer. That's what the word says. And all the scriptures is given by the inspiration of God. Amen, you got all this. But see, people will flock after that. Amen. People love to see. Man, they got, they're good just to hear him talk about the mystery. Amen, they're good just to see him move a mountain. Amen, but he's liking something. You mean to tell me I'm doing all that 
and I still don't have charity? Amen. I am ain't, nothing. Ain't that amazing? Yeah. Now we would think, hey, he doing all that. He got see that goes to show you. That goes to tell you something, saints. That goes to show you people can do things and still not have love. Amen. People can do things. People can say good things about you. Amen. That don't mean they have love. Amen. Don't be fooled with that. Amen. Is that right? right. Amen. Because God's searching that heart. Right. We talk, oh, well, this, you know, you give, a, give tribute to a man. You give all honor, but you don't have love. That's right. That's what the world needs now. Yeah. 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 That's that's what that's why we're where we are yeah. because God loved for the world. Yeah. When we was in all kind of messed up shape, He still sent His Son. His Son still gave His life and shed His blood. See all this other stuff you can have if you want, but see God, He's looking at things according to the Word now. What he said? And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. Oh, I'm, I'm bestowing. Listen to that. Look, it's how you doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, you know, we get we we get feeling good about feeding the poor. Ain't nothing wrong with feeding the poor. That's a good thing. But you can feed the poor and still ain't got love. That's right. <laughs> that's that's what God is trying to let us know. Yeah. Do what we do in love. Amen. Do it in love. Lord, help me to do it in love. The way, because when you do it in love, then God is pleased with it. Amen. Because you can have something in your heart. You can do you, you can give me a million dollars. I don't mean you love me. That's right. And what is greater? The million I love. 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 You know why? Because you might know you done gave me a million and come back and kill me. I just give me I'm getting my money back. Jesus. See, that's why God deal with love, you all. Yeah. Because love gonna do what it's gonna do according to the will of God. Yeah. That's what we all people gotta work on that. Yeah. Read the book. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. And though I give my body to be burned. I give my body to be burned. And have not charity. And I don't have charity. It profited me nothing. I ain't getting no profit from it. Though the Lord say, what sort of good thing any man do? You got to, let me tell you something. Whatever we do, we got to do it in love. If you ain't going to do it in love, it's no need to do it because God ain't getting no glory. That's right. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Amen. Amen. God, God, God ain't looking at all this stuff, how we feel and all these kind of things. Amen. He wants us to have love. We got to work on it. Yeah. We got to ask for it. Amen. He said he'll teach us how to do it. Amen. What he said? Charity suffers long. Now let's, let's see what love or charity, let's see what it does. Now I told you about the things that it that people do and it, it don't profit anything. Amen. Now let's see what charity does. See what it, let's see. What is that? Charity suffers long. All right. Now, charity. Now, I want you to think about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Is that right? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Because look at how he suffered long with us. Amen. And when I say us, I'm talking about the world. Don't you, don't you know the world is doing so many wicked things that the stink of it is going up in the nostrils of our Lord Jesus? Amen. Man, is doing so many wicked and abominable things. But what are he doing? He's suffering long because he said, there is still some that I must bring in. There's still somebody else out there that he got to bring in. When he bring that last one in, to be baptized, they repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That la it's that last one now. Hallelujah. We don't know when or we don't know where. Lord Jesus. But it is that last one. Because he said, other sheep that I have, that is not of this fold, I got to bring them in. Is that right? So if they out there, but see, he's putting up with a lot of stuff. Fornication, adultery, 
wickedness, lying, stealing, whole hunger, all kind of stuff people doing. Men with men, women with women, transvestites, all kind of stuff people doing. Mm -hmm. Aren't they? Yes, is he putting up with it? Yes, sir. Yeah, he is. You think he enjoy that stuff? No. What did he say? Second Peter 2 and uh, 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slight concerning his promise. But what? As some men count slight. Uh-huh. But is long suffering to us. He is what? Is long suffering to us. Did he say charity suffered long? Charity yes. suffered long. And he is long suffering to who? To us. Why? Not willing that any should perish. But that should they should do what? But that all right. should come to repentance. But that all should come. He suffered long. He won't. He said it's not his will that any should perish. God want everybody in the world that will hear his voice to come to repentance. Is that right? What else he said? Charity suffers long. Charity suffers long. And is kind. And is kind. Charity envieth not. But remember now, who charity this is? This God's. It ain't ours. Because see, we have certain stipulations. <laughs> Don't we do so? We have certain stipulations here. They ain't did it like this or that. You know, we have certain ways that we feel as though that, well, all right, you pass my love test. You pass, you pass this. But that's us. That's our, that's how we I'm gonna measure see did you did you make it? See, we measure things according to how we feel, y'all. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Don't we do so? Amen. Yeah, yes. But it's not how you can't measure. Because God can't be measured. Amen. Is that right? Amen. He's great. He's omnipotent. He filled heaven and earth. Amen. How you gonna measure his love? Amen. Is that right? Only way you can do him is just do what he says do. Amen. And look at how he has shown forth his love towards us, the human family. Amen. What he said? Charity suffered alone. And it's kind. Yes. Charity envies not. Charity. It's a lot of envious people out there. Charity envies not. And you got to be envying you. Jesus. That you done brought over to this year, had last year, Jesus. had 10 years ago. Jesus. People carrying stuff around. Lord and the Jesus. scriptures say lay aside every weight and the sin. People carrying stuff they had 10 years ago. Sometimes people can't say they say. Say they Holy Ghost filled. Say they love God Jesus. and carry stuff. You know you are. Charity envy is not. You know you got some stuff you done brought over Jesus. 10 years ago. Jesus. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Get that stuff straight. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Better quit carrying that weight on you. Amen. You know, in the natural, it ain't good to be overweight. Amen. You know, you know, we in America, a lot of us, we overweight. That's right. But we'll feel better if you get the weight off you. That's right. That's why he said, lay aside every weight and what? The yeah. sin that's so what easily to beset you. Is that right? Go on, get straight with that brother or sister. Is that right? Go on, get yourself straight. Don't be walking around with stuff all on you. It's weighty, it's weighty. And you still trying to sing in the choir. The preacher still trying to preach, and they got weight, and something gets each other instead of talking. Is that right? Yeah. Any preacher can call me and ask if you have anything. If you, if I got something, I'll let you know. I want to let you know I'll come where you at mm -hmm. if I need to. But I, I, I'm not trying to walk around with things in me against because Christ won't judge anyway. Amen. You're going to be judged. I just want to have the right love with God. And if you if you preach something you ain't got no business preaching, I'm between you and God. But you better get it straight. Amen. 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 You better get straight. Amen. You better get it straight. Because you. <laughs> you're going to be judged out the yeah. book. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What he said? Charity envy is not. Well, charity, it don't envy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You haven't got any, you got any, got any envy in you? Lord, thank you, Jesus. He said charity. Lord, charity don't envy. Thank you, Jesus. Charity don't envy. Is that right? Amen. What else? Charity bonded not itself. Don't bondage itself. Don't think it's much of itself. What else? It's not puffed up. You know, it ain't get all puffed up. People think so much. They get puffed up and, and mad and, you know, all kind of ways. And 
But he's letting us know. You know, people got that kind of spirit. They get puffed up. Is that right? Yeah. You know, sometimes people puffed up you know, because we you know, got all mad and upset about something. Mm -hmm. But you're all puffed up about it. And then you, so, you know, swollen up, you got a fish out there in the ocean. Is that right? That, that, that fish that'll swell up. That blowfish here. You catch him, you get puffed up. Mm -hmm. You get puffed up. You get, and that's how people are. People get puffed up. That's true. But charity don't, don't get puffed up. Do it. Amen. Amen. You got a lot of puffed up people mm -hmm. in church. Yeah, you got it. See, and that's the problem with us. It's in the church. Year in and year out. Let's get things. And the brother was saying, come on, let's communicate. Let's love. You know, Bible, if you don't believe in certain things, I ain't got to get all puffed up and mad at you. I just say, well, Lord, help him. Help her. Help him. Help him. Help him. But I know one thing, everybody better believe God according to the scripture. Amen. You better believe. God said he that believes don't mean how. As the scripture has it. It don't matter who it is or who telling you what, you better make sure it's according to the scripture. Yeah. Amen. Because that's what we got to believe God. That's how we got to believe. According to the scripture. What the book say? Amen. First Corinthians 1 and verse 5. First Corinthians 5. Fifth chapter, verse one and two. Five, it, one and two. It is reported common that what that there is fornication among you. And such fornication is not so much as named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife. Uh huh. And ye are puffed up. You see, you're you're doing wrong, and you're still puffed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you reported that one should should have, shouldn't have what. Father's wife. His father's wife. And then he says, such fornication is not even named among the Gentiles. And then you puffed up about it. Amen. People be doing wrong and be puffed up. Amen. How you going to do wrong and be puffed up? Tell me what you got love and puffed up. Amen. You ain't no puffed you. You ain't got no love. What he said? And ye are puffed up. Ye are puffed up. And have not rather mourned. You, you ain't even sorrowful about nothing. That he hath done this deed might be taken away from a mother. You, you ain't even, even sorry, feeling bad about it. You know, I'm telling you something. Sometimes, you know, in this day and time we live, people do wrong. Ministers, preachers, people do wrong. And they say they're in the church. But see, because God don't come and take them away, they think that, well, it's all right. I can, I'm getting by. No, you're not getting by. Mm -hmm. Have the fear of God in you. If you slip and fall, get up. Don't keep slipping. Don't keep falling. You know, because there are some things you know you shouldn't be doing. These things that people know they shouldn't be doing, that yeah. goes the preacher, the deacon, the minister, the mother, the sister, everybody. These yeah. things that people be doing. I don't care if you're lying, you're fornicating, you're whole heart. It's certain things you know you shouldn't be doing. We're supposed to be a holy people. Amen. You, know, you think you're supposed to do all kind of stuff? It's too much. You before God and God is blessing. God got a certain way He wants us to be. Amen. Don't get puffed up neither. Just ask God to have a fear of God so that God will bless you and help you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. What He said? For I barely, as absent in body but present in spirit, uh -huh. have judged already. I didn't already judge the man. As though I were present concerning him that hath done this thing. Well, you know what? I didn't judge it already. Concerning the him that have done this deed, what he said. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. when you are gathered together in my spirit mm -hmm. with power and our with power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. To deliver such an one unto Satan. Deliver the such an of the flesh. Well, see, deliver him unto Satan. Because that's all you're dealing with is flesh. Amen. That the spirit. That the spirit may what? Might be saved in the day of our Lord Jesus. Ain't that something? Sometimes, sometimes people be having to be delivered over to Satan. Yeah. That that's scary though. Yes, it is. You gonna be yes. of your actions and what you're doing because you don't want to stop. And that's what happens. People sometimes they know are right, you done slip and fail, but some people know they are did wrong and they keep doing. Mm -hmm. They just keep right on doing it. Whatever it may be. Let's get back where we were. It's all good work. Yes, sir. All good work. What he said. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity. 
suffers long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity don't envy. Charity vaunteth not itself. Yes. Is not puffed up. Uh huh. Does not behave itself unseemly. Don't behave itself any kind of way unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Uh huh. Is not easily provoked. Amen. Jerry don't get people get provoked real quick now. In the time we're living in now, people <laughs> get provoked real quick. That's true. It don't take much for people to get a provoked. Is that right? You can say something to somebody and they get provoked. You can sometimes say something to people in the church and they get provoked. And the God, the Lord had already told the preacher, he said, rebuke shock. Mm -hmm. See, the preacher can rebuke you. But some people, people want to be so preacher want to be careful because he he trying to he want to save people. But sometimes he rebuke people, they won't come back to church no more. He said rebuke them shock that others may fear. Is that right? Amen. That others may fear. Sometimes people I want you to say nothing. Seeketh not her own. Seeketh not her own. It's not easily provoked. It's not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. I just want that to resonate. Thinketh no evil. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. You know that's that's something that we as a people got to really work on. How we think. Because you can sit up, you can sit back and be thinking evil of people just all, all kind of ways. People, people sit in the church and be thinking evil of their brother and sister. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I mean, that, what kind of stuff is that? Lord Jesus. Thinking evil of the preacher. Mm. Evil Lord of the Jesus. deacon. Evil. Come on. Lord Jesus. You better, your mind got to be straight. Lord Jesus. That's what I tell people. Look on the bright side of things. I don't know if people, if people ask why I still want to look on the bright side. Oh, but she act this way. Well, she did. She, I'm, I'm going to give it to you. The bright side. Because so I don't want the, the enemy to come in my mind mm -hmm. trying to make me think a certain way about people. Amen. Because he do that. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can think a certain way about people and what you think will be right. Mm -hmm. But then that same thing can work on your mind. That's true. In a bad way. Mm -hmm. You think in a certain way. He said, look at that. He said, no, Lord, have mercy. Pray for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't think, I don't want to be thinking evil. Amen. Charity don't think evil. Amen. What else? Rejoices not in iniquity. Well, it don't rejoice in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth. Amen. Oh, Beareth all things. Bear what? Beareth all things. That charity is something, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, if you take this, you know, we just kind of got kind of going through it. But if you take your time and look at different words and look at the meaning of words, it you'll see a whole lot Amen. in this right here. For both itself, don't think no evil, every not. Bear, it, bear what? Bear it all things. <laughs> well, did Christ bear a lot? Yes, he did. All things. <laughs> Didn't he bear our sin? Yes. Huh? He, he took upon the iniquity of who? Us all. Of us all. The world. Ain't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you can't take bear nothing from one person. Jesus. And then you want to stay home the rest of the year. Don't come back to church no more. Because you can't bear a certain thing. But you're going to be able to put up with it, saints. That's going to be something. That gonna be, that's going to be a mountain, uh, a, a hurdle. you got to you got to come across. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the enemy always going to put it before you. I guarantee you can't jump this one. What is that? There is all things. Believe in all things. Believe all things. What? All things that the scripture tells us. We believe what the word is saying. Amen. Reminds me when they say believe all things. All the right things. People. Come on now. Amen. I don't believe that a, a man is a woman. I don't believe a woman is a man. Yes, I don't believe a man can change what God gave him to be something else. Yes, he what God made him. I believe the truth, though. Yes, Amen. Amen. Read the book. Bearing all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, mm -hmm. endureth all things. Got a lot to endure. Read. Charity never fails. Mm -hmm. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Yes. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Yes. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. Uh-huh. But with that which is perfect is come. 
Then that which is in part shall be done away. Let's hear a book. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. You know, yeah. is that true? Yeah. You know, you're growing. Just like a woman. She was a girl. Mm -hmm. Now she's a lady. She be, is that right? Yeah. If she became a lady, she put away girl to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I'm saying that yeah. because I, I want everybody to know it's to you too late. Yes, it is, sir. It's to you too late. Mm -hmm. He's saying to the man, yeah. when, I was, when I was a child, I spake to you as a child. Yeah. Well, when you can look back and say, lady, when you was a child, you spoke like a child. I understand. Now, and I understood. You understood as a child. I but thought, you thought as a child. When I became, but when you, but then he talked to me. When I became, now somebody would say, well, he just talked to me. No, he talked to me because man is his first. Man is the thing, is the one that God gave the commandments to who first. Man. You think he's not talking to you, lady? Mm -hmm. He talking to you too. Man. Sure did. Man. He came out from man. man. <laughs> So, you know, I ain't going to go all in that because people think that's some deep revelation and all that. It don't take much people to think, start start thinking and having thoughts in their mind about things. But, when I, became but I became a man. I put away child. I put away child saying. For now we see through a glass dark, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I also am known. Let's hear the book. And now abide in faith. And now by faith, hope, hope, charity. charity. These three. Uh -huh. But the greatest of these is charity. I just want to run over those. Let us see and know that charity is what? It's a great thing. In the greatest. It's the greatest. Amen. Let's get back over to Ephesians real brief, Rick. Ephesians 3 and verse 17. Read the book. That Christ may oh, sorry, verse 16. You can die 17, Brian. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. That, that, see, Amen. rooted in, that's why we went over there. Amen. We went over the whole chapter dealing with love and our love. But he said that you be what? Rooted, rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded. And grounded. Lord Jesus. So that lets you know love is a yes, certain yes. strong thing. I don't, I don't want, I want you to be rooted and grounded. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't that amazing? Yes, yes. And we just heard about how love acts and what love does. But this is what I want. I want you to be rooted and grounded in love. Read the book. May be able to comprehend with all saints. Now, by you being rooted and grounded in love, that you know what? You may be able to comprehend what I'm going to say. With all saints. With all the saints. With what all is, the saints. What is the breadth? What is the breadth? And length. The length. And depth. Yeah. And height. You should be able to talk about you, you, When you have the love of God, you should be able to talk about his goodness. Amen. Talk about love. Get along with people. I want to get along with everybody. I know there's people out there that don't like each other and supposed to be saints and loving of God and can't even get along, can't even speak to one another. Mm -hmm. okay. They fighting, the children fighting, they can't get along, the children can't get along. Sometimes the children want to get along, the parents don't want to get along. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. What he said? And to know the love of Christ. And listen, and to know. You hear what he said? Know what? The love of Christ. How well do you know the love of Christ? Lord Jesus. How well do you know the love Lord of Jesus. Christ? Amen. Which passes With all knowledge. Do you hear what that just said? Mm. <laughs> do you hear what that just Thank said? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Read that again, Brother Rick. And to know the love of Christ. Right, and to know the love, the love of Christ, the love of God's anointing. To know the love of Christ, which passes all knowledge. Which passes all what? All knowledge. Did, well, didn't he say something about knowledge? Which, pass, which passes knowledge. Didn't he say something over there in Corinthians about knowledge? Yes, he did. Knowledge Do I have the gift I can do this and have all knowledge? Didn't he say so? Amen. So that's what I'm saying. When we come down to the Lord, Lord teach us how to love. What? All your people. Teach us how to love. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Read the book. 
And to know the love of Christ. And to know the love of Christ. Which passes knowledge. Which passes knowledge. That ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. Knowing his love which pass all knowledge. That ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. You know, what's going to say knowledge for God? But chap, didn't you say so? But chap, there to find. Knowledge puff up. Mm -hmm. But charity does something different. This is what God, this is what God wants from us. Amen. Is that right? Amen. This is what he wants. Amen. Read the book. Amen. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above, abundantly above what? All that we ask or think. Amen. Now unto him that is able to do it. Is that right? There's one more little wanted to teach you how to, how this how, how his love really works. He he can do it, can he? Amen. Able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask for thing. Read the book. According to the power that worketh in us, uh -huh. unto him be glory in the church of, by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Amen. Read a couple of verses in the next one. I want to go in there. This is this is our hopefully this will be our motto for us for the whole year and continuing on. What he says. I therefore the prison of the Lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Holy. Is that right? Walk worthy. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I therefore the prison of the Lord beseech you, I beg you, that you walk worthy of the vocation wherein you are called. How? With all lowliness, lowliness and meekness Meekness with long suffering, long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Forbearing one another in what? In love. In what? In love. Thank you, Jesus. I take that love. Pour that love. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How you gonna get past love? Lord Jesus. And it's because of love where we are tonight. Amen. How you gonna get past? How people gonna get around love? You better. We better start practicing it. Because yes, Lord, you say, Lord, we are taught of God. We are taught of God how to love. Thank you, Jesus. Didn't He say it? Amen. 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 We want to strive to strive with that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What He said, Dre? Amen. With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in forbearing love. Forbearing one another in whatever. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Now, and do all you can. And any way you can, saints, brothers, and sisters, to be endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Because the Spirit is calling us to love. The Spirit is calling us to things that our flesh is not calling us to. But we should be endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Thank you, Brother Rick. We're going to shut up right there.